Hey everyone, it's Kayla, and today I am super excited to announce that I teamed up with Clever Fox Bullet Journals to send one of you your own bullet journals from Clever Fox. I'm super excited about this because this is my first giveaway, and I actually really enjoy Clever Fox Bullet Journals, so if you're interested in how to enter, you can look in the description box below and follow the rules. This giveaway is going to last two weeks, so I'll put the date on the screen and in the description box below, but I did want to start off with the disclaimer to say that even though I teamed up with Clever Fox to review this bullet journal, I am not being sponsored by them and I am also being very truthful about my opinions in this review. I really do enjoy the quality of this journal and I hope that you all will as well because it is really awesome. So let's get on to the review. The color that I chose is this rose gold color, which has a really pretty sheen in the light. I also love this faux leather kind of texture, and it comes with an elastic closure as well as a pen loop. You can also see the Clever Fox logo embossed on the front, which is super cute and minimalistic. On the inside of the pages, you have three bookmarks, which is super cool. I've only ever seen journals with one or two, so I think this is a bonus, and at the bottom of each page, page is a page number already written for you so if you like to keep track of an index in your journal I think that that's a plus and the spaces between the dots are about one millimeter apart which I think is pretty standard because it was about the same in my Archer and Olive journal. My favorite thing about the Clever Fox journals is how white the pages are. They might even be more white than the Archer and Olive journals, which is crazy because they're both super stark white. I am the kind of journaler who prefers the white pages rather than the ivory pages because I think it looks more clean and pictures and drawings just pop a lot more. Both of these journals are size A5, but the Clever Fox falls a little bit smaller than the Archer and Olive and it has fewer pages. There are 127 pages but the Clever Fox journal is so much less expensive than the Archer and Olive bullet journal and it's a lot more affordable. You also get a little pocket in the back for maybe stickers or post-it notes you want to put back there. You do get a sheet of free stickers with a Clever Fox journal. I just didn't include that but now let's get on to some pen swatches in this Clever Fox journal. The weight of the Clever Fox journal pages is 120 GSM, which is a pretty good weight compared to a Loistrom journal or something like that. It does have good thickness to it. It's not as thick as the Archer and Olive, but those are more like cardstock pages and these feel more like a natural paper. So I'm going to be swatching different art tools to see how they react on this paper, if they ghost, if they bleed, and alongside a regular swatch I am going to be layering three times to see if that added layer also changes the outcome of the swatch. So as you can see from this fine liner from Helix, there is no ghosting and no bleed through on either of the swatches. Now I'm swatching my Tombow Fudanoski brush pen and the same thing goes with this. I did not see any ghosting or any bleed through with the normal swatch or with the layered swatch. With the Tombow brush pen in this pink shade, I did notice a tiny bit of ghosting, but I'm not exactly sure if that was just because of how bright the lights were above me, but these do tend to bleed through thinner pages pretty easily. You'll see with this layered swatch, it does start to bleed through a little bit, especially on the thicker parts, just because these pens are so concentrated and there's a lot of ink in each swatch. So that one did ghost through a little bit, but not too bad where it makes me not want to use it again. And then I'm going in with this Crayola marker 
the um, thinner markers and what do you call them super tips the Crayola super tips and these ones did not have any ghosting or any bleed through on the normal swatch or on the layered swatch as well and the Crayola super tips are super inexpensive compared to the Tombow brush pen markers and you can get so many colors for a really good price Just to check it out, I also decided to swatch a Jelly Roll pen because these are a pretty thick liquidy ink consistency. So I did swatch this and I did not get any bleed through or any ghosting with these as well. Now I knew what to expect with these Ecoline watercolor brush pens because they are super watery and super liquidy and there's so much pigment in one swipe. So these did bleed through and it kind of left a weird staining mark on the page. Um, even after it was dried, it still had this weird splotchy kind of pattern, which was odd. But um, even layering it or using a watercolor brush to put it down it just bled through a lot so I don't recommend using these but they did not ball up the paper I don't know if you're um, familiar with what does happen sometimes with like cardstock like the Archer and Olive journals is that the paper will kind of ball up and fall off in layers it's really weird but I'm using my finger here just to show you that it did soak into the page and it didn't sit on top and create a pulpy kind of texture now we're going in with a watercolor and this is just a simple inexpensive watercolor I got from Walmart and I'm putting down some water and putting paint on top. I'm also just going in with the paint, I'm blending and I was really super surprised at how well colors blended on these pages and I think it's because they are more of a natural paper texture, they're not cardstock and it did not bleed through at all. It did wrinkle a little bit which does happen no matter what but it did not bleed through, there was no ghosting, so I could see myself doing more watercolor in this, which I am excited about because I don't feel like I can do watercolor in my Archer and Olive journals. And just to show that it's not because it's a lighter color, I went in with black, and that as well did not bleed through. So I was super surprised about that, and it really made me like these pages even more. So those are all of the swatches. If you are interested in entering the giveaway, please don't forget to look in the description box below for the rules. Also, my general overview of this journal is I think that it is definitely a great journal for bullet journalers to have. It's inexpensive and it's also really nice quality. It has three bookmarks, it has your pen loop and your elastic closure really white pages and I think it's great quality so if you're interested in buying one yourself I'll have it linked down below and thank you so much to Clever Fox for sending this to me because it's definitely going to be a staple in my bullet journal collection. Thank you all so much for watching if you liked please thumbs up and subscribe to see more and comment down below what your favorite bullet journal to use is. I hope you all have a great day. Bye!